hello friends welcome back to java Eight interview questions in this video we'll talk about how to create java 8 stream so as you guys know that java 8 stream api provides multiple functions to create java 8 stream okay so first of all let's go and have a look what are the different functions available in java 8 stream api so the very first one stream dot off is a function here you pass the set of values so this particular function will give you a stream a java 8 stream out of it similarly you can use stream dot off for a for an array as well so this an array could be of integer type values or could be a string type values okay then next one is there is one more function called arrays dot stream to create to convert your array into a stream the next one is stream dot generate or stream dot iterate so these two functions comes into picture when you don't have your own set of values but still you want to create a stream okay then next one is list dot stream so here this list is from collection api so here you have your error list and you call the function dot stream so this particular function will convert your list into a stream similarly you can also use parallel stream on a list Next one is interstream dot range. Interstream dot range closed. These two functions range and range closed generates a integer stream for the specified range. There is a major difference between these two, so we'll talk about the difference in the demo section. The next one is interstream dot iterate and interstream dot generate. So we'll talk about all these functions in the coming videos, but let's have a look what are we going to cover in this video. All right, so today we'll talk about stream dot off. Here we'll pass the set of values stream dot off to create or to convert an array into a stream. Then we'll talk about arrays dot stream. All right, so let's talk about stream dot off for a set of values. Let All right, so here I'll go and create a class. So today we are talking about create Java 8 stream. All right, let's first talk about stream dot off. So what I would do, because we know that we are going to create a stream, for example, let's call it int stream1 equals to, let's import java.util.stream. Okay, so we'll be using stream.off func function. So if you see here, stream.off, here you can pass, if you want, you can just pass only one parameter, or you can pass a set of values. Where you see t dot 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 values right so for example if i have to create a stream like this 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 right so this is my stream so stream dot off will convert my set of input values into a stream okay so what i can do is let me just print so here into stream dot I hope you guys remember in one of the video we discussed about the terminal operations called for each. So for each is a function that you can use to print the values. It takes consumer as input. So what is a consumer? Consumer is a functional interface. It consumes the given input. Okay. For each, what I will do? System dot out dot print ln. I'll just so consumer right. It will take an element as input and I'll pass that element here so what i'm doing here is what my consumer is doing it is taking one argument and it is printing the value the element as it is let me run this one right so this is what you see so by using stream dot off you can create a stream now here this is an example of integer stream but i can use same stream dot of I can use same function stream dot off to create a string type stream right so what I would do stream of type string right so what I would do one equals to stream dot off right now here I can pass set of values so what I will do here I will pass say for example one two three four five so 
now what will happen it will create a stream dot off will create a stream of string type values okay now for example let's do one thing let me print this one dot again i'm using for each there is one more way to print the values system dot out if you guys remember double colon operator what do you call this this is known as method reference right and i'm calling a function called println let me just run this one and let's see the result so here is your one two three four five and then these are the values correct so basically the point is by using a stream dot off you can pass you can create a stream of integer type values or you can create a stream of string type values depending on your requirement okay now we'll see how can you convert an array into a stream so what i would do i n t e integer array right so how do you create an array so just simple right so i am going to create a new integer array integer this is the array sign and then let me pass some values here so let me pass one two three four five enough right so basically i have an array of five elements okay now let's go and create a stream so for example in teaser and i will call it as array stream one equals to stream dot off now i can pass the array here as an input argument right let's do print the values dot for each and i will be using same method reference to print the values because it's easy okay let me run this one here you see your result now let me do one more thing so here you see that we have passed the reference variable the, the array here if you want you can simply pass the entire array itself here not the reference so what i'm trying to say is for example i want to create a stream of integer let's call it array stream 2 equals to stream dot off right now what i want to do here is i will pass the integer array integer and let me put some numbers here so basically let's, this time i call 10 11 12 13 14 and 15 is enough right correct so this stream dot off you can uh, in this function you can either pass array as well or you can simply pass the entire array right now let's go and print the values here so dot and then i will i want to filter out values so how can i filter out can you please give me for example i'm passing a number here right and if the remainder i want to divide that number by two and if the remainder is equals to zero give me that value right and then please print that value for me system dot out colon print talent is method reference easy so what i'm doing here is i have set of values and i have applied a filter function to it what how i want to take the number i want to divide the number by two if it is divisible by two and the the remainder is zero filter that value and print for me okay so let me run this one so what do you see here 10 12 and 14 so it means that we have first created integer into a stream and then we have applied stream api function so filter is a function of stream api for each is a function of stream api okay arrays dot dot stream to create or to convert your array into a stream so a stream integer we are going to create an array stream but this time i will be using arrays dot stream now you can see here that you can pass a array arrays dot stream let's pass our array from top arr okay take this one let's simply do one thing so here if you see that my array has got five values right so let's do something let's apply a map map means for example if you want to do something with your value right with the input value what i want to do is multiply the number by itself and then print the value so 
what I'm doing here is I'm multiplying the each value of the array and then printing the values here. So I know that my array has got values 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? And the result is going to be multiply multiplication of the number by itself. So here's the result 1 multiplied by 1 is 1, 2, 3, 16, and 25, correct? Okay, guys, so let me quickly revise. Here we have seen how can we use stream dot off to create Java stream for different input arguments. So if you see here, initially we have passed set of elements, a sequence of elements here, then or basically integer values. And then we have used again a sequence of elements, but this time the element is of type string to create a stream of string type values, right? Then we have used an array, so we can convert an array into a stream by using the same function stream dot of. You, similarly, if you want if you want to pass the reference of your array, you can pass that too. Or if you, if you do not want, you can simply pass your entire array itself as an input value. Correct. Then there is one more function called arrays dot stream to convert your array into a stream. That is what we have seen here. So the point is you must know the uses of stream dot off because it's one of the very handy function and you should know that what type of values it can take as input. All right. So guys, here we have covered all three functions stream dot off, stream dot off with an array and arrays dot stream. All right. So we'll talk about rest of the functions in the coming videos. Thank you for watching and please do subscribe my channel.